The pandemic began during the season of Lent last year. Do you remember how scared we were? I was washing or squirting my hands after I touched anything and everything shut down. Back then, we had hope that we would be back and worship together by Easter Sunday. Then Easter passed. And we thought, well, whatever Sunday we're back together, we will celebrate Easter. And then weeks turned into months and months turned into a year. We're tired and we're weary of wearing masks and of separation. But we adjusted and you helped us. You helped us go online for worship by video and music and welcomes and scriptures and prayers. You helped us keep in touch when we all desperately needed connecting by calling each other, writing notes, visiting on porches, having picnics out on the church ground, and most recently by baking and delivering cookies. You kept our service missions alive by your gifts and by bringing food for the food banks and packing meals for the homeless. In the midst of a year that felt like Lent all year long, you became the Easter we all needed. So now here we are again. We're starting back in church worship the first Sunday of Lent. And of course, we're keeping our services online as well. We start with a renewed hope of Easter in our lives. We've learned lessons about ourselves and our neighbors and our church. We all have different reasons for being together again today. Some around your family at home and some in worship together. But we all need a word from God. We need to actually see people in person and we need a prayer voiced. Lent is a season of repentance and reflection as we head to the glorious celebration of the hope that we have through the Easter experience. We journey through Lent to remind ourselves again this year that we can all go through a season of darkness even if it lasts over a year and, come, and can come out on the other side with Easter.